one, zero. And hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank Hello. you very much to take the, the time to participate. Uh, uh, oh, you're welcome. Hmm? It was so nice of you. Uh, I have been, I have some questions for you that our team here at the Duplex U made. And I will start with uh, uh, now. Uh, this is the first time that our fan here at the has the, the opportunity to talk directly with you. And we heard that you study music and theology. And now you teach this, these classes at, at the city where you live. Uh, can you tell me a little more about your history and how you become such a successful uh, game designer? I didn't understand everything, so I'll, as a last sentence once more. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your history and how you become such a successful game designer? Uh, from, from my history and biography. As a game designer, yeah. I was a teacher, I was a teacher for uh, music and uh, theology. No? You, you yeah, mean yeah. that? The biography? Yeah. yeah. I was a teacher um, many years ago and um, to play games. It was uh, one of my passion. Um, I, I try, began to try a little bit, change some games um, for two players or three players. And um, I at the same time, I worked on a novel. Um, I made a journey to um, Carcassonne, investigate a little bit uh, to the novel, and there came the idea to Carcassonne. The first game. I, will, I will have to interrupt you from time to time to do the translation. For the, Sorry? I will have to interrupt you from time to time to do the translation. I will translate what you just said, okay? Klaus disse que ele era um professor e ele gostava muito de jogar e a ideia do Carcassone foi uma visita que ele fez para a Fortaleza Carcassone. Jogava jogos com dois ou com três jogadores e E daí surgiu a, a ideia do jogo. Ok, Carlos, can you continue, please? Ah, you, you, you translate in between? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I, I didn't know because I don't hear very good. <laughs> okay. Um, I in investigated for this novel. Okay. And there in Carcassonne itself uh, came the idea to make a game um, of these landscapes and these uh, small cities and fortresses and this, this area. And I be began to work a little bit and uh, try it at home, back at home, um, with, with tiles to, to lay uh, these meeples on it. And it lasted about half a year and uh, the game was finished. So. Um, in the way I liked it. And um, I went to some publishers and it was published very soon. I uh, liked it very much and it was uh, published, I think, later after I sent it to them. On the uh, toy fair in Essen. Okay, uh, I will translate now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, é, é, ele estava fazendo uma pesquisa é, sobre para um romance e uma visita a Carcassonne é, foi que ele teve a ideia, como a gente já disse antes. Né, ele disse que ele fez algum teste, trabalhou no jogo no Space né, e assim que ele é, é, mostrou os jogos das editoras, elas logo se interessaram e publicar o jogo por volta do ano 2000, ok? Ah, 
uh, you did uh, you did participate from dozens of the uh, expansion designs for Pekaton. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite extension? A favorite extension for Pekaton? Um, yeah. Maybe there are some I like more and some I like not so much. <laughs> but um, I, I myself like very much uh, the, I don't know how it's called in English, it's uh, the dragon and expansion is a dragon. Um, I, I like it very much because it's very chaotic and against each other. The last one with the sheep I also like very much. Uh, I think these are my two favorite. Uh, the, the first expansion I, I would um, include in the game every time. So it's uh, game. So the first expansion and the dragon and the sheep. Okay. Uh, well, this is uh, a dragon. Uh, uh, besides Carcassonne, uh, you have, of course, other games like uh, Mesopotamia, Downfall of Pompeii. Uh, are you working in any new release, any new game release? Yeah, um, there was uh, just uh, some weeks ago, there was uh, released one new game from me, uh, it is uh, Colosseum. Colosseum? Okay. Colosseum. It was published uh, some weeks ago, it's a family game. It's a family game for two to four days. É, o Klaus disse que ele lançou algumas semanas atrás, o jogo que chama Coliseu, é um jogo para família e usa duas a, a, quatro, a quatro jogadores. Um, do you see... Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, you have now a lot of games going to digital platforms. What do you think uh, of the future of the board games uh, in this scenario? Uh, I didn't understand, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Can have, you say once more? We have a lot of uh, cooperative games going to digital platforms, uh, going to digital games. Uh, how do you see the board understand. games? Uh, how do you see board games facing the the digital games, the, the their digital version? Ah, Digi uh, digital games. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I played uh, very much digital games uh, many years ago. I had consoles like PlayStation and uh, Nintendo. E everything was uh, available. I bought so many years ago and. Um, but board games are, for me, much more than these digital games. I like digital games, but um, I watch a board game with real people. Um, it would be nice if, if you um, play a game, and the graphics are great, um, but, but it's not the same as a board game for me. Um, Paulo disse que ele, ele, ele joga bastante jogos digitais, né, é, é, gráficos são sensacionais, mas que certamente ele prefere os, os jogos de tabuleiro. Né. É, é uma interação é, completamente é, diferente. Uh, do you think that uh, younger people agree with you? Uh, <laughs> Um, I think uh, most not, <laughs> but but uh, I I also see that um, many of the young people, um, if if they try a board game and they say, oh, it's really great and I like it, 
And many people, I think, don't know what, what there's going on in a board game. So buy and you have to show them what is possible and what you can do there. But um, of digital games is always great. So it's a great graphic. You are in the game and um, perhaps do it online with, with other people. But uh, yeah, it's still more better if you are uh, on the table uh, very close to other people and play with them. Okay. To, uh, uh, to, uh, Ok, uh, eu perguntei, uh, perguntei para ele né, se, uh, o que, que ele acha do, do, da, da comparação entre os jogos digitais e os jogos de tabuleiro. Né, e, e aí vocês tiveram a resposta lá e depois eu perguntei se ele acha que as, que as pessoas mais jovens concordam com ele é, ou não. Né, ele disse que ele acha que não, mas é que cabe a gente mostrar os jogos de tabuleiro, tudo que o jogo de tabuleiro que um jogo de tabuleiro pode, pode ter para o pessoal mais jovem. E ele realmente prefere é, os jogos de tabuleiro. Uh, now I, have, I will, will finish the, the interview with uh, five quick questions. Uh, first one, uh, por que a cidade de Carcassonne? Why Carcassonne? The city. Why Carcassonne? Is it Why the did you pick the city of Carcassonne? It could be Barcelona. I don't why? I don't what? Why did you pick uh, Carcassonne uh, instead of, uh, I don't know, Sao Paulo or Barcelona? Ah, okay. Yeah, because I was there. I was okay. at Carcassonne for investigating for my novel. And it was many years ago, it was in uh, 1998 or so, and 1999, um, it impressed me very much. And um, the idea to, to make this game came in this city. <laughs> so it was um, rebuilding this, this area and this city, these small cities um, in a game. Okay. So, um, I wasn't at Barcelona, I was at Barcelona <laughs> many years after this. Perhaps I would have Perhaps done Barcelona. <laughs> okay, uh, a gente perguntou porque Carcassonne, né? ele, eu, é, ela é a mesma resposta, na verdade, que é, é, ele estava lá mesmo pesquisando o preço humano, e, e a Carcassonne impressionou bastante ele. Né? E como ele não estava vendo em Barcelona ou em São Paulo, ele escolheu é, Carcassonne como como uh, a, a base do jogo. Uh, what are your favorite people colors? What's My favorite people? Meeple colors. Meeple colors. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, black and red. <laughs> Mostly black. This was a, an easy one, right? <laughs> Ele, eu perguntei quais são as cores do Meeple favoritas dele, ele disse que são vermelha e preta. Uh, did the, the, the success that Carcassonne made worldwide surprise you? Uh, sorry, once more. Uh, uh, did the, the, the great success that Carcassonne did uh, worldwide surprise you? Yes, yes, indeed. I um, just was happy in, in 2000 it was published and I was happy that the game from me uh, was published. And um, on the Toy Fair in Essen, I think it was uh, also for the publisher, it was a surprise. They um, came and uh, one of them was called Attila and they um, promoted it very much and thought that this would be the main game for this year. And um, Carcassonne was sold out on the fair um, in two days and it was a great success. And I think everybody was surprised about it. And uh, me, me too, me in the first position. So uh, also as it um, became the game of the year, I was surprised and today I always I'm surprised how many 
languages are available, about 40, and how many people around the world um, play it and like it. It's, it's still a great surprise for me. Okay. Uh, eu perguntei para o Klaus é, se o, su o, o sucesso que a Cassone fez surpreendeu ele. E, ele disse que sim, que foi uma, uma grande surpresa é, para ele, para o pessoal que, que, que publicou o jogo. Né? É, esse jogo é, se esgotou na feira em que ele, que ele foi apresentado em dois dias e ganhou o prêmio de, de jogo do ano. E ele disse que é, foi sim uma grande surpresa para todo mundo que estava envolvido no projeto e que continua sendo uma grande surpresa para ele ainda hoje a quantidade de, de pessoas que, uh, que jogam Carcassonne. Uh, Paul, that was it. Ok. Uh, thank you very much uh, for ah, having us. <laughs> I liked it very much. It was a pleasure for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a, a, any a message? want to give for your Brazilian fans? Oh, I hope you all have very much fun by playing, not not just playing Hakkasson, by playing every game. It's a passion for me and I hope it's a passion for everyone. And now I'm, I'm here uh, with friends together today and we have a gaming day and after this now I will get down and play. <laughs> so. Eu perguntei se, se ele tem uma mensagem para os fãs brasileiros, ele disse que espero que vocês joguem bastante board games, é, que foi um prazer estar com a gente aqui é, no streaming é, da Virada, e que hoje ele tem um, um jogo com, com os amigos dele, ele está saindo de, da, da C3 que ele está dando para a gente, ele vai jogar board games, que é uma coisa... Sensacional. Klaus, thank you very much. Um, have a very good day. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.